there's the system. And depending on how stacked this is, which it looks like it's starting to get more stacked, there's a mid-level circulation here. The surface circulation looks like it's somewhere down here. If this gets over top of that surface one, when they get out there this afternoon to check on it, we're going to have a tropical depression on our hands here, if not more than that. However, what we're looking at as effects is rain coming in from the coast. That's just about it. Right now, it's got winds of 35 miles per hour. It's moving in the north-northwest at 6. This is Keesler Air Force Base sitting right in here. That's going to come back down with the hurricane hunters this afternoon to check it out. When they get in there, as I mentioned, they're going to be looking to see where that surface low is versus where all these showers and thunderstorms are. But you can certainly see from the tops of these clouds that they're growing even bigger, which means it is trying to strengthen just a little bit. The reason why, look, look at all this wind shear and look where it is. It's not here. Right? Wind shear would blow the tops of that off. That's what was happening the other day. It has drifted a little to the north into this area where there's very light wind shear. However, if you look at the big picture, you see there's still more of that where it came from. And then eventually, this is going to drift down to the south into this wind shear. So even if it does happen to develop today, if the forecast models are correct and this thing does turn and, and drift towards the south, it's going to get blown apart when it gets down towards the southern Gulf of Mexico. So either way, if this holds... What we're watching for is just some moisture being spread our way. In fact, if you look at the European forecast model, that's what it's seen. This is as we go through tomorrow morning, mid-morning. Then by tomorrow night into Saturday, there it is. just kind of falling apart as it gets down towards western Cuba. And if you look at the winds out of this, the surface winds, you can see where they are now. Now, this will adjust a little bit, I think. But notice by 11 o'clock tomorrow morning into tomorrow night and Saturday, again, it too will start to weaken. So organizational-wise, looks impressive to me right now. But will it affect us directly? I don't think so. I think it's these waves of rain. Here's the forecast model for the afternoon. You see this developing along the coast and then pushing inland. Some of that will get a little bit heavy at times where you see the reds here. Two to three inches of rainfall per thunderstorm is possible in some of those. Yesterday we saw three to five inches in some of the heavier spots. This is tomorrow morning. We start dry. That's 8 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, here we go. This is showers and thunderstorms popping up right around 2 to 3 o'clock. Notice how they get heavy at times. Later in the afternoon, that's about 5 p.m. Those could cause some minor flooding when that happens. That's Friday. Very similar to yesterday, very similar to today. Let's go to Saturday. Starts nice and dry in the morning. Showers and storms starting to pop up around 3, 3.30. Saturday, I think the coverage is down just a little bit less, and you'll notice that in my extended forecast as well. So here we go. Next 12 hours, next couple of hours dry. After that, we'll start to look for those showers and storms filling in. Again, remember, they're going to put down a lot of rainfall, at least some of them, and so we could see some minor flooding. Rain chance tomorrow goes 70%, 60% on Saturday, 50% on Sunday, and then really backing down the drier air, or at least bringing some of it in here as we get towards Monday. So there's Friday's planner. You can see it's going to be looking a whole lot like what we have out there today. Mid to upper 80s for highs, afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Now, I can't rule out a stray shower overnight tonight or first thing tomorrow morning like what we saw. But by and large, the, the hotter we get in the afternoons, the better chance for those storms to pop up. 70% out there for tomorrow, 60% Saturday. And you see next week we actually do dry out, but you know, we're going to warm up. We're going to be in the upper 80s to near 90.